Hey guys, uh, we're here with the aftermath of the Max Saw uh, attempt at shooting. So, uh, yeah. Here is the Max Saw, here is the charging handle. The poor thing uh, let go. Uh, you want to explain? It's not the first time it let go. I, yeah. I, I can't be blamed for the first breakage, um, but... Uh, when originally sold, this chain was labeled as welded chain, and uh, it's not welded. The links just keep separating. Yeah, this was actually specifically sold as welded chain for parakeet toys. Um, it has an o it has a uh, external diameter of quarter inch so that it fits through the hole back here. Um, that was the, the consideration we needed. The problem is, um, since it's not welded, the second you give a mighty tug to the little still handle, it pops it right off. At which point, you may have a um, hammer down on top of the bolt with a live round in the chamber situation that is difficult to remedy. So, um, yeah, this whole attempting to shoot this particular firearm did not go as intended. Um, it was fun. It went bang. It put bullets in a fairly straight direction, given that it has no sights. Um, and, you know, the holes in the magazine um, did let a lot of dirt in when we had to throw it in the dirt so that we could properly dedicate two hands to manipulating the gun. But um, one of the things, too, is we never really checked if it's going to work before starting. Uh, as mentioned in previous videos, uh, we had to do work just to get the bolt to move freely in the upper before starting any of this, let alone uh, never test fired it. So got really no idea whether or not this was original issues or if it's something that uh, you know popped up from the modifications. We haven't really done anything to the actual uh, workings of the gun that would... Uh, end up uh, causing the issues that were happening. They see mostly uh, malfunctions in the magazine, the feed lips, and um, the feed ramp itself. It was mainly just a failure to feeds. It was extracting fine. Uh, magazines were a little bit tight on the uh, loading at first, but uh, all stuff that can either be fixed by different magazines or helping the feed ramp a little bit. And then uh, the bolt handle failure was, uh, I guess, our doing. But uh... yeah, that was uh, improperly <laughs> specced uh, components or poor quality control. Um, yeah, so we attempted to do a actual shooting video for you guys, but uh, managed to fail somewhat uh, significantly. Um, gonna take this back, polish the feed ramp, tune it a little bit, see if we can't get. Um, it a little easier to bump and hopefully feeding a little more reliably this time and then uh, go out and blast with it again. Uh, in theory, it will eventually be a very fun firearm. So, uh, you know. We were cut a little bit short on time too. We were waiting for uh, one of our buddy's uh, wives to get home before we could actually leave. She had to watch the kids while we went out and uh, that didn't happen until a lot later in the day than it was supposed to. So. We would have had some time to do some uh, troubleshooting on the thing, but uh, we were rushed, and in the rushing, uh, it happens. didn't get a chance uh, to really work on it. Yeah, so, um, yes, sorry about that. Feel free to enjoy, laugh at, um, you know, just generally um, re revel in the misery that was the attempt at shooting this, this firearm. Uh, it did go bang, you know, once. I believe it even went bang twice when I was shooting it and the three times when you were shooting it in I think a row. I had a bur uh, three or four rounds that fed okay after doing a little bit of feed lip tw uh, tweaking and then uh, after breaking the charging handle it was kind of all downhill from there. There was no safe way to really clear the gun and uh, just became really difficult to use. Yeah, the, um, the whole rear-mounted charging handle thing doesn't work if the charging handle breaks off. There's some serious safety issues that are raised. Um, and next time we take this out, I think we're gonna bring a small Allen wrench or something so that in the event that this um, does break off, as you can see, there's a, a pin through that. We can drive the pin out, put the Allen wrench in. Well, I was actually thinking while we were out there that all, the way that that's, that collar is attached as threads, 
I was thinking about actually making like a threaded on like a something that if we can't get the chain to work properly or find something that's stiff enough, uh, do a like a um, T handle. Uh, not a T handle, but a uh, we could do something really silly like a uh, drawer knob. Uh, maybe even go some something really silly with that. Uh, some fancy one or something kind of funky. I don't. Mm, mm -hmm. As a pull handle, I don't know. Okay. I'm a fan of the eight ball, um, personally. Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's what we got here. Hope you're gonna enjoy it. Um, sorry, next time we'll we'll try to do a little better. All right, have a good one, guys. Doing a test fire on the Maxa, so gonna try this. Hopefully, it just works this time. Mm, almost. We've got a. A little bit of a jam issue. All right, try this. Okay. We're having some issues feeding, getting partials. We need some uh, lube, I think. All right. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's go lube this and try it again. All right, Ajax 22, we're back and we've lubricated the Max saw thoroughly. So hopefully it's more than just a single shot now because this is a single shot, is not a fun gun. Hmm. May actually have an issue with the, uh, the feed angle. Still hanging up. Let me try the other magazine. The joys of uh, inexpensive firearms. There's no guarantees that this thing properly functioned before we started modifying it. So that one's not picking it up out of the mag. So we've got it loaded too high. Let's see what that uh, download it by two and then try it again. All right, seated better. Okay, um, starting to notice a pattern here. It's ejecting properly, but it's not feeding. I think we may need to modify the feed lips on these magazines to allow for an earlier release. I think it's hanging a little bit. Uh, or it needs a polishing on the feed ramp. I mean, it's fun. Here. But let's go, let's go tinker on it and see if we can't make it actually work. Because this is... <sighs> see? I mean, it's chambering, eventually. <laughs> it's got a nice little muzzle. But every round not feeding into the properly. Well, it's getting better.
Yeah, okay, this this needs some love. Best, uh, one more shot and then. Before I handed it to you. Yeah, is it happy? Huh? What do you mean is it happy? Not happy. It's, is the gun happy or is the camera happy? The gun. Oh, um, well it's missing the handle now. But the gun should be fine. Any more dirt in the magazine. The, uh, the whole skeletonizing of the magazine and does not it lend itself to... This handle is not the most comfortable for... Well, it is fitting now. Yeah, that didn't work. Not quite in battery? I shouldn't laugh, but I do. You know, we can just push the pin through on that. Well, no, we can't. Never mind. Leave the knife swinging around on there. We need some, uh, Tweaking to the fire control group, I'm guessing. Make yeah, it a little the, easier uh, to cock. Well, not to make it a little bit easier to cock, but... Easier to feed. Yeah. I fixed the feeding issue with the uh, magazine tweak. Uh, it's not going into battery particularly easily. That's why I'm trying to bump fire it, though. I mean, you want me to tweak the lips a little bit more? I don't know. Make it as sloppy as we can while it still holds the uh, round in. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. It's a Mac. As a closed bolt proposition, these guns are inherently somewhat less than ideal. Yeah. Did it feed? I think it fed. No, it didn't. It didn't feed all the way? Polishing feed ramp. Next step, maybe. It's not the most unsafe handgun ever made, but it's close. You know, when I you have, have to like. No safety when I'm trying to sit here and fiddle with it. While yeah, while the, the while the chainsaw pull pops off, because reasons. <laughs> it fed. It did actually. Why did it not reset? I don't know. That's what did you pull doing. the trigger back too far? Well, no, it can't. Over travel stop. I think that my adjustment to the feed lips was a little bit too much. Too extreme. All right. Yeah. Tweak the one side. All right. You're loving that like charging handle. Yeah, I know. You know, not my idea. Yeah, seems to be reasonably accurate at least. Yeah, with no sights. I mean, you know. Dead trigger again. We're out of ammo in this mag too. All right, knife wins against chain. We will leave that in the dirt for the time being while it has a round hole in the chamber. Oh, nice. Yes, that's what I'm saying. We need to do something about the chain issue. Yes, well, you know. Make it welded. Your seller on eBay that uh, yeah. sold it to you as welded chain. Was a dick? I'm going to agree with that. 
false advertising. I mean, if somebody's parakeet had actually bought this for play chain, there would be a parakeet choking on little shards of metal that it unbent from the chain. I need another knife to like open this knife. <laughs> you need a knife to open the knife with? Yeah, I'm probably gonna kick the shit out of this magazine trying to get this open because I got a piece of chain stuck in there. All right, let's try this a different way. Can we get more chain in there? How much chain can this knife pull? Because we need to get the sand out of here. Nope. Not happening. Pain in the butt. Just like whack it really hard and get the hammer to hit it. The hammer to hit it? Yeah, the hammer's forward. That's less than ideal. It is less than ideal. That's the problem. I'm having to overcome the force of the hammer spring. Scratching the gun in the process. Uh, I might need to go back and get a, some more tools. Alright. Alright. Fun times. Uh, I think we can officially declare this to be a failure. Because you're filming all of the unsafe practices. Yeah. Of me using the knife. We ought to take your whittling chip card. Alright. Or toting chip. What the heck is going on with that thing? There we go. Alright, gun is clear now. Okay. Fun. Fun times. Alright. Happy.